Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I will discuss the second part of JSP creation of a small web application using JSP. I am Dr. Ashutosh Kumar Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. The learning objective of this lecture is to implement a small web application of client-server connectivity and processing request at server in the previous lecture we have discussed about web application of database connectivity and data storage with entire technology. Now see this program because we are talking about the small web application of client server connectivity. So this program is based on client server connectivity. So in this program directly I am starting the first DSP program which is client side and which is developed in HTML. and the head portion is blank there is no heading is here body will start just in third line then we have paragraph enter two numbers and click the calculate button slash p so this is the paragraph then we have form so this is the form this this uh, sixth line form action calculated dot gsp method get so there are two type of method get and post and post is more secure than get method we have input button input type two input button and one submit button so the input button for the value one you can see uh, the seventh line input type text this is the text box it will create text box its name is value 1 so value 1 will be uh, typed in this text box and value 2 will be typed in the next text box input type text name value 2 and br in the last br for line break and then we have input type submit button so it will show the submit button and its name is calculate and value its value is calculate it, the caption of the uh, button is calculate and variable name of the button will be calculate also so as we will click on this button so action will generate so this form action this action will activate and the action will open this calculator dot jsp so here we are working we are running this calculator dot HTML. So we have two different files. One is calculator dot HTML. So this existing file, the, the file which is shown on this slide, that is as calculator dot HTML. So when we will run this calculator dot HTML, it will run calculator dot JSP. So uh, you can see in the bottom line calculator dot HTML, which is in the circle. So this is the name of file and we are closing the form we are closing the body and closing the html so this is very simple uh, client side program which we will run on the client machine as this program will run as we will click on the calculate button of this page so accordingly the action it will activate the action tag and the action tag will run calculator.jsp so this html file will disappear and the calculator.jsp will will display on our client machine so whole program client server and client the whole program is running on the client side machine but actually we are running the uh, server code so this is the server code now you can see here the server code that is calculator.jsp which is mentioned in the previous um, slide by the action action calculator.jsp so this is calculator.jsp so in this calculator.jsp we have started again by the html because this is also part of html embedded with the html the jsp file also embedded with html file then we have head and inside head we have title so this title will be shown on the top of the window a simple calculator uh, results and title will be closed head will be code closed and body will display and here the message a simple program 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so this is the message this this will be display on the top of the page 
now c 1 plus 1 equals to so it will display the value of 1 plus 1 it is the string it will be displayed this is the part of html and uh, percentage equal 1 plus 1 so accordingly it will display 2 so percentage equal it, it is a jsp code uh, percentage equal will print the value um, the one uh, the total of 1 plus 1 which is which is 2 now again we have this command line you can see here a simple calculator so this is this is this is again the second uh, comment line uh, then heading to the sum of sum of your two numbers is this is under heading two now the html code this whole uh, red portion text will be jsp portion so uh, we have written here integer dot parse int request dot get parameter value one so here what is value one you know value one in previous slide we have this value one this 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 related to the text one text box one and value two is related with the text box two the variable name of text box one is value one and variable name of text box two is value two so get parameter we are writing here get parameter value one we are writing again get parameter value two so from these two text box we are extracting the value of one and value of two request dot get parameter so here request and response are two implicit objects so we don't have to uh, define these object these object are implicit object so uh, the meaning of these these object this request will uh, will uh, request will be the object but uh, this request will uh, access the value of this client side text box so this is the value 1 and value 2 are two input text box so uh, request dot get parameter value 1 request dot get parameter value 2 and these values these uh, values of text box basically by default th they are text type and by parse int we will convert them into the integer so integer dot parse int so if we will write here float dot parse float then it will con convert on the float type so here we will convert it into the integer type so integer dot parse int both values value 1 and value 2 will be converted into the uh, into the uh, integer type and then after converting them into the integer then we will uh, find the sum uh, plus is in between these two and and percentage equal is also there so thus directly this line will display the sum of these two text box value 1 and value 2 input type text value 1 and input type text so the value of text 1 and text 2 will directly the sum of these two will be displayed on our screen body will be closed and then head will be closed so accordingly uh, output you can see you can execute this program and then we accordingly you will find the output now this is the second program so this is also a very simple program then this second simple interactive jsp uh, example where we will again start the program by html then head portion title portion demo one is the title it will display on the title bar then body will start then heading 3 in heading 3 we are writing please enter the username so uh, this message will flushed on our screen on our window then we have uh, we have uh, we are starting here form action equals to jsp slash hello jsp dot jsp so this is already uh, stored file so when we will submit button we will push on the submit button so accordingly it uh, action will activate and action will uh, run this hello jsp dot jsp file so this the name of this file the uh, this existing file that is jsp file sorry html file and by this html file we are running hello jsp dot jsp now we have one input box username colon so it will display on the html page input type equals to text means text box we are creating name its variable name is username then we are closing it and again we are writing input type submit so it means we are we are displaying one submit button and its value is to very uh, caption is submit so the form is closed body is closed html clo is closed so uh, since the index.html is the default html name for the tomcat 
so that even don't need to specify the index.html the url address of the browser so directly when we will execute the site that directly it will first uh, file that is index.html so always the first file of the any website is index.html index.html will be the home page so always we have to start program by index.html so de by, uh, by default it will run and we don't have to write other name of the home page so so you can see the output uh, demo you can see here uh, uh, the title is the demo one so accordingly uh, demo one will be displayed on the title bar and please enter the username uh, see the heading 3 please enter the username so accordingly it will display the heading 3 please enter the username username you can see next line username will be displayed uh, inside the form username those so this this will be displayed on the html page then we have this text box so you can see here input type text name is username so by this statement this text box is showing here and the submit you can see so input type submit value submit so the caption is also submit here so um, accordingly the output of this first file is here second simple interactive jsp example is this so this is the this html takes a string of the username from the html form and submit the request request it is submitting the request to the hello jsp.jsp as we will click on the submit uh, it will start hello jsp.jsp because inside the action form action uh, we have mentioned path and then hello jsp.jsp so this hello jsp.jsp will execute as we will click on the submit button uh, the, by action tag we uh, will run it run it so uh, as specified with the action attribute of the html form so here you can see and uh, so this is the output window where we are seeing the form of uh, client side as we clicked on this submit button it will start running this uh, hello jsp.jsp so uh, maybe this this slide this slide is the hello jsp the page hello jsp.jsp is placed in the sample directory as index.html all the html tags can be used in the jsp page uh, these are the simple points so here uh, at the rate page import java.util because we require here um, request.get parameter and we are using here date function so date function is a part of utility utility java.util so that's why we have to import page import we have to write this statement page import java.util dot star so all utility function like date time so all be uh, imported by this writing this line and this is closed so this is jsp tag this is jsp statement where we are writing a page import by using page import we are importing the java.util and by importing this java util we can use this date function and the second line uh, percentage exclamation sign date today so we have this date class and today is the object of this date class and it is closed here because in the next line we are again starting this html tag that's why we have closed this uh, first line so by using this exclamation tag we can define the object of any class so object of uh, we can define object of any data type so here date is a class predefined class so we are uh, defining the object of this date class and then body will start hello is a uh, string will be displayed on our screen and then you can see here request dot get parameter username so username request dot get parameter so this is this is the first text box so as we will write p s s p s u so this this username will be uh, extracted by request dot get parameter it will be get by this request dot get parameter function this username and uh, this will be displayed on our screen this screen will disappear and new screen will be displayed and here in the new screen request by uh, by running this by uh, running this request dot get parameter username it will extract it and then in the next line today equals to new date so uh, uh, this is the preference of the new date date 
uh, function and today as we will display today so it will display date as well as time also body will um, closing here and html is closing here so the output you can see here hello p uh, spsu so hello message after this body uh, by request dot get, get parameter we are getting here the username and uh, the name of user is spsu today's today's date is so uh, today's date is so uh, this is the message so uh, this is the date today's date is this date will be displayed so uh, we are getting the date from the server so this is a very interesting program this one more program where um, we have this credit form dot jsp uh, which is stored on the server as uh, this credit form dot html program will run html body is there and then form action credit form dot jsp so basically this file is credit form dot html method post uh, post is more secure so we have name credit card number and card type so we have these three field so name is a input type input type text variable name is name and size is 10 credit card number its size is 25 25 maybe it may be 25 character long so input type text again and name is member and size is 25 and third one is the uh, combo box card type select name type so card type may be visa may be mastercard may be mx card so uh, inside option uh, pair of option tag we are writing here these three values visa mastercard and mx so uh, option and the last one is the option selected so basically mx will be selected so when we display this uh, form so uh, by default it will display the mx and we have input type submit button input type submit name is submit its caption is submit and value is submit uh, form is closed here body and html so this is html form this is input form this is client side form so we have three variable here name credit card number and card type so as we will click on the submit button the submit button automatically the action will activate and credit form dot gsp will run and this is the credit form dot gsp program and it is stored on the server so accordingly this program will execute and by these three statement request dot get parameter name request dot get parameter num member and request dot get parameter type so they will extract value from the these client side three forms three variable three variable first are two text box and third one is the select that is combo box from these three the value will be extracted by the server but we don't have the server screen so again these server value will be displayed on our client side client machine uh, by this object request object so by this request object values will be extracted in the server and we can display these values on our client machine also so we have this uh, html code ul uh, unordered list and inside unordered list we have li three lines line in line one name and the value of name credit card number credit number that is the name of credit card and third is the card type that is type of card so all these three value will be displayed and by ul it will be um, closed by an order list and then body close and html will close so uh, learner thank you very much uh, in this lecture we have discussed about the learning outcome of this lecture is to develop well small web application so we have learned here client server connectivity and processing request at server in next lecture we will discuss about java server pages and JSP element and JSP actions. So thank you learner, thank you very much.